Today's show is a bit out of the ordinary, to say the least. I'm here at Innovative Audio on 58th Street in New York City to listen to these incredible speakers. These are Wilson Audio Alexia 5s. Now, actually, I was here last week when Peter McGrath from Wilson was doing some private demos, and I was blown away. So I said, I got to come back and have some private time with these speakers. And that's what I just did. Now, I mean, I've been around Wilson speakers for years. I used to sell them in the 90s. Oh, oh, how I love those Watt puppies. I think they were Watt 3 puppy 2s at the time. Those are my dream speakers for, for ages. Anyway, so here we are in 2022. I'm listening to the latest offering. And the sound is, well, more Wilson than I've ever heard before more precise, more transparent, more, well, just effortless in the way it just reveals detail. It's just an extraordinary uh, speaker. Now, it's a three-way speaker, I suppose. It has a one-inch tweeter, seven-inch mid-range, an eight-inch woofer, and also a 10-inch woofer. Daryl Wilson is now running the show. They're proud to be making their, their capacitors in-house. That's, that's a relatively recent development. The, the materials, all the parts that go into these speakers just have refinement of the decades that Wilson has been doing state-of-the-art speakers. It's, it's just that. But anyway, there was something that I heard last week that made me want to come back is this, this new dimension to the sound. The speaker's price, by the way, uh, this is far from their most expensive speaker. This speaker is $67,500 a pair. The rest of the system consisted of Dan D'Agostino Electronics, their preamp and power amp, and also a spectral CD player. I just played CDs for this private listening session. And I was sitting in the sweet spot right over here, and the very first thing I noticed, I was playing Frank Sinatra, Live at the Sands, I think it's 1965. And wow, it was, Frank was just there. I mean, he was really there. And the band, he had a big band with Count Basie. And just the energy of that performance. And I'll tell you one thing I don't like about that recording, though, is the audience. The, the applause just sounds terrible. It's kind of distracting. But Frank... It really has that you are there feeling. This, this recording does certainly play it over this system. And I am literally getting goosebumps thinking about what it sounded like a half an hour ago when I did this demo. And yeah, that was a great way to begin. But to contrast Frank, I next played this one, James Brown, Live in Paris, 1971. Now, I got to say, this recording, the James Brown recording, is one of the all-time best live recordings ever for music and sound. If you're a fan of James Brown and you've never heard this one, stop. Stop the video right now. Just go and listen to it. You will be blown away. It is a super human performance by James Brown and the band, which are the JBs. And I'm cranking up the Alexias just to take it in. And I'm not really a loud listener, but there was just something about the effortless quality of these speakers that made me want to just crank the hell out of the system. The store is empty. It's in the morning. No one's here except I mean, the staff is here. No customers. And uh, I was reveling in the sound, the rhythm section, the horns. And James Brown, he's screaming. He's just, just on, just... I don't want to keep saying on fire, but he was. It was just over the freaking top. So from James Brown, from Frank Sinatra to James Brown, we were off to a really, really, really good start. To, uh, well, to quiet things down a bit, I turned to this recording, Kenny Rankin, Because of You. Now, this is a Chesky Records recording. I was present. Actually, I worked at this session. It was in 1991, and it's Kenny in a large studio, RCA Studio A, here in New York City, where they usually record symphonies, orchestras. I mean, big stuff goes on in that studio. And there's Kenny with piano, uh, saxophone, drums, bass, and percussion instruments. 
because you could hear the room, you could hear Kenny, and the spatial relationships of everybody on, in the band were so well presented by the Alexia Fives. It's so um, there. It's so completely there. You hear the studio, you hear the space, but it's really about how you hear Kenny relating to the other musicians in real time. No one's wearing headphones. They can see each other, they can hear each other. It is a live performance captured and now released <laughs> over these incredible speakers. And there's this track, My Father, and it's just Kenny and piano. And that, I could just feel them hearing each other. That's what it was like, Kenny and the pianist. The, the give and take of the performance, it's, and there it is, coming out of these speakers. Now this next recording I played, again, is a contrast. It's Savage Oral Hotbed. <laughs> it's an all percussion band. I was, following, I was a big fan of this band years and years ago, and I stumbled upon this recording. I hadn't played it in ages. And it is, well, percussion without just drums and stuff. They're banging on pipes and all kinds of weird stuff. But it is very dynamic and extremely powerful. And the low bass drums and instruments that they're hitting and the way those woofers, the 8 and 10 inch woofer, are just delivering the impact and the speed and the transients are absolutely extraordinary. Now, you know, I know, I know people sometimes say things like, well, I have a really nice, uh, you know, $5,000 system, and there really isn't that much more of, you know, you know, the point of diminishing returns phrase that people love to use. And I get it. You know, if you're happy with your system, I'm not trying to make you unhappy at all. I'm just saying that you're kidding yourselves if you think that a, a much more expensive system like this one isn't, like, vastly better. It is. It is. And, of course, this is really only for the wealthy, but I'm here to, to hear what the state of the art can be, you know, with no constraints. And that's what a system like this is for. So not everybody can buy a Ferrari. You may be perfectly content with your Camaro, but it's nice to know that there's something out, else out there. And of course, I really do think that over time, decades probably, yeah, I think this level of performance will be available to more and more people. That's, that's very likely. But I'm here exploring the limits of how good it can be. Yeah, and of course, this speaker, as I say, is not the top of the line Wilson speaker, not even close. And by the way, I asked Peter McGrath when uh, he was here last week, is they, they take a lot of time to fine tune the sound of the speakers to the room. That's what Peter was really here to do. And uh, I said, but what if somebody, you do the, all the fine tuning, you get it all dialed in, but what if the customer says, you know, I'd like it to sound a little sweeter. C could you do that? And actually the answer is yes, this speaker not only in positioning can be fine tuned, but there's a, I think there are resistors on the back of the speaker that you can change and adjust the balances of the drivers. And that's something that Peter insists is, would be done by the dealer and not the customer. Um, but anyway, that's another degree of um, refinement of the design. For rock music, I played in this one, XTC Drums and Wires, or is it Wires and Drums? But in any case, I love this record. I've always thought it was a good sounding record. I didn't realize how good it was until today. Because hearing them under this speaker, you just hear so much more information. My, my uh, respect for the production on this record is off the charts. I mean, you know, today's pop music, I, I think this is more pop than rock. Today's pop music is assembled and fine-tuned and computer-generated and stuff. There's not a lot of people making the music in today's pop music. But on this one, it's a band. And you feel that. It's precise, it's really well done, it's very well crafted, but it is human. <laughs> and you feel that humanity over the Alexia 5. And they're great tunes, they're really melodic. Great album. If you don't know it, check that one out too. To finish up, I just wanna thank Elliot and Chris from Innovative Audio for allowing me the time here in the room to do this video. 
I know Elliot from the 70s. He used to, his show used to be in Brooklyn Heights when I was living in Brooklyn Heights the first time in the 70s. And uh, he's, he's come a long way, Elliot has. And it's a beautiful store. If you live in New York City or near New York City, you can get here, you make an appointment, and then we'll be happy to play whatever for you. And with that, I can say, oh, and by the way, yes, I will list the details of the system, today's system, in the description below this video. And no, there will not be an audiophiliac viewer system today because I just think the contrast from this to that would be a little weird. To finish up, I'm just going to say if you like what I'm doing here on the channel, please consider joining my Patreon. Patreon now accepts payment in dollars, pounds, and euros. Uh, well, and if you don't want it, if that's not your thing, that's cool. But you could consider subscribing to the channel. And if you like the videos, please hit the like button. And with that, I can say, I think I can. Yes, my work here is at last complete. Thank you again for watching. And I really do hope to see you back here again very, very soon. Bye-bye.